Good morning, guys. Welcome to language class. Compound subject is our topic today. Copy this information, please. Compound subjects. A sentence may have more than one simple subject. When you write, you can use the word and to join, to connect simple subjects. Sebastian, you are not copying. So, copy please this information. Remember that you can use more than one simple subject in a sentence. So a compound subject are two simple subjects in a sentence. That's it. A compound subject are two simple subjects joining a sentence. The information inside the box is what I need you to copy. This information. A sentence may have more than one simple subject. When you write, you can use the word and to join simple subjects. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Continue. I'm copying this. I'm copying the summary. Okay. Okay. I finished with Enrique. Okay. Who is copying? Okay. Let's do some exercises. Are you copying, Jose Enrique? Let's do some exercises on page 378. Let me know when you finish, Jose Enrique, please. I finished, miss. Okay. These exercises. Got to practice, page 378. Who, who talked to me? We need to copy this. Uh, yes. Um, look at this one. It says, the subject of each sentence is underlined. Name the two main words in each subject. The two main words that made that compound subject. Where I copy only the underlying information. Only the underlying information, please. Okay. Scientist and explorers. Only copy that. Number one, two, three, and four, because I have an online worksheet for you. I want to do the online worksheet too. So only we, need, only we need to copy the, 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 under, the um, underlying information. The underlying information is the subject of the sentence. Scientists and explorers. Number two, the currents and waves. Three, huge blues, blue whales and tiny plankton. Number four, the sea and the land. Five, giant kelp and other seaweeds. So copy only that information. Um, as I said before, the main word in a subject 
is the noun. When we have only one noun, we have a simple subject. But in this case, we have two nouns. So we have a compound subject. In the first one, what are the two nouns? We saw in the video that the nouns have a, a word that connect them. What are the two nouns in the number one? Class? Huh? The two nouns. Uh, study and notion. And the number one. Scientists and explorers. Scientists? And explorers. And explorers, exactly. Scientists? Giant help. And explorers. So in your notebook, you have to circle scientists and explorers. You copy scientists and explorers. So these two are the compound, the compound subject. Scientists and explorers. We have to says name the two main words, the two main words in each subject. Scientists, one word, explorers, the second word. Those are the two main words in, in this subject. In the number two, the currents and waves. What are the two main words in this subject? What are the two main words? I want another student, not Santiago. Daniel, you are not copying. You are holding your jaw with your hand. You are not copying. Second sentence, current, the currents and waves. What are the two main words? The two nouns name in that subject. Current and wave. And waves, exactly. Currents and waves. These one are the two main words. And I, this one, remember that this one is a guided practice. Number three, huge blue whales in tiny plankton. Tiny plantons. Maria Fernanda, are you copying? I think you are not. You are not. Alan, why are you away from the camera? So the number three, huge blue whales and tiny plankton. What are the two nouns? Only two nouns. Whales and Whales, plankton. exactly. Whales and plankton. Because blue, it's a color that- Yes, it's a color of the whale. The color of the whale. So this one is an adjective. Huge talks about the size. Oh. It's another adjective. Huge and blue are two adjectives that describe whales. Tiny is also an adjective that describes plankton. Yes. Plankton live in the sea. Yeah, huge whales and tiny plankton live in the sea. The number four, the sea and the land. The sea. The sea and the land. The land. The sea and the land. The sea and land. Because okay. if you say that, so you are including this article. This article is not a noun. It's an article. Sea and land. Those are the two main words in this subject. My word, okay? yes. Five. Giant. You Kale. need to circle the words. Yes, because yeah. we are circling. We are circling. Um, we are circling the nouns, the main important words. Seaweed. Seaweed. What was the first word? Giant. Giant. Uh, no. And Wait. Kelp. Kale. Giant kelp, oh. giant kelp son algas oh, gigantes. Giant, giant kelp son algas gigantes. And C 
see with or other kinds of um, aquatic plants? I finished the Japanese. Okay, seaweeds are other kinds of algas marinas. Okay. okay. Let me see if I copy. No, I did not copy. El, el, the next one. The live worship. Because I wanted to send the link in the chat. But I have another thing there. Okay. Who is copying? Maria Jose. Maria Jose. Am I in the in the four? Mm -hmm. Brian, what about you? In what number you are? I I finish. You finish to copy in the five sentences? Well, the five the five subjects, because this one are subjects. Maria Fernanda is copying. What about you, Jose Enrique? Are you copying? Jose Enrique, no, are you copying? I'm going to say you something. No, I finish. Okay. Tell me, Iris. I'm going to say you something. I see that time is strumming and and it's coming like class, the number of class, the six. Six, yes. We missed just one. One more to finish the day. Yeah, I know. Y, y, Isabella, did you finish? Tell me, Isabella. Uh, free. You finished? I am in the free miss. You are in the? What number? Free. Hurry up, please. If I ask you if you finish because it's because I am watching the camera and I know that you're not copying. Okay, one minute to finish. This one is the live worship. Let me share the link into your, in the chat. In the chat? Yes, in the chat. I'm gonna share the link. Here it is. Click on the link, please. Rewrite the sentences to include one compound subject. Change any words in necessary. Apple pie is a yummy dessert. No, dessert. Apple pie is a yummy dessert. Dessert like a jelly, like an apple pie, like ice cream. Those are desserts. Pumpkin is a yummy dessert. So in order to make a compound sentence, in this case, we are going to join apple and pumpkin because it's saying the same right apple pie apple and pumpkin pie are because we are talking about two yummy dessert period number two philip plays the piano very well Diane plays the piano very well. Oh, um, the code, I'm gonna show you the code at the end. So how can I make this sentence? Because I have two sentences with, sim with simple subject, but I want only one sentence with compound subject. How can I change this? What can I do this sentence? I made the first one for you. How can I make the second one? Philip plays the piano very well. Diane plays the piano very well. What can I do? Uh, ideas class? Ideas?
No ideas, guys. Philly, miss, I, I got one. Uh huh. Philly plays the pi Philly plays the piano, and Dane plays the piano. But we, I need. Philip and Diane. Exactly here. Play, we join. Play the piano. We we join the subjects. In the first one, Philip and Diane play. No plays. Play because now we are talking about two people. Play the piano. Very well. They do the same activity, so I can include the two names in the same subject, in the same sentence. Mrs. Barton likes to eat pizza. I like to eat pizza. So how can I join these two sentences into one? With a compound, um, with a compound. Miss, can you go a little bit off? Subject. Can you go a little bit off? Oh, you're gonna copy this one. Uh -huh. Mrs. Thank Barton you. likes to eat pizza and I like to eat pizza too. How can I make this sentence? Ideas, please. And I want a different student. Not, um, uh -huh. different student, not Santiago, not Maria Jose, because they already participated. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Barton like to eat pizza. I like to eat pizza too. I need to join those two sentences into one. How can I do that? Mr. Barton. Uh, Mrs. Uh -huh, Mrs. Barton likes to eat pizza. Uh -huh. But that's the same sentence. Remember that I have to join this sentence with this one. Look at this. Philip plays the piano very well. Diane plays the piano very well. So Philip and Diane, because they do the same thing. Mr. Barton, I like to eat pizza. Mr. Barton and me like and to eat me, pizza. And I, Miss Barton and I, I and I like, like to, to eat, eat pizza. pizza. Exactly, like that. Mr. Mrs. Barton and I like to eat pizza because likes to eat pizza is written two times because there are two different, two different sentences. But now, I want only one sentence. The last one, Max might know, might know the answer. Tony might know the answer. Max and Tony. Max and Tony, uh, exactly. Max and Tony know the answer. might know the answer. Exactly, here. I think this is the last one, yes. Four sentences. So far, is it good? So far, is it good? Yes, me. We need to send a worksheet. Send it to me because these one are extra points. These one are extra points. So, Max and Tony, click on finished and you email, you send it to me. The code is this one. Let me copy the code because um, someone asked for the code. Copy. The code I'm, I'm gonna send you to everyone in the meeting. There it is. Miss, okay. miss the, the answer of the four is Max and Tony might know the answer. Yeah, might know the answer. Exactly. I already have your code here. Yeah, you might have it um, save, store in, in, in your computer. Okay. Finished? Send it to me. If you already send it, you can dismiss the class. Thank you for your attention and see you after lunch. Okay, bye-bye.